Okay, so this was the question. Exactly the converse, converse case of the question which we did yesterday in the, like uh, one question which was related to trapezium, exactly the converse case we are having over here. So the question says that if AD and wait, wait, wait. This is not the question. The question is the diagonals of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect. each other at the point O such that AO by BO is equals to CO by DO then show that A, B, C, D is a trapezium. In the previous question, it was given already that we are having a trapezium and this is what we have proved. Okay, here it is already given that AO by PO is equals to CO by DO and we are supposed to prove that A, B, C, D is a trapezium. Okay, let me draw the figure which is given along with the question. Okay, figure is not given over here. We have to draw figure by ourselves. Okay, let's draw it. A quadrilateral ABCD. Quadrilateral ABCD, that means any polygon having four sides are called quadrilateral. But at last, we need to prove that the quadrilateral which we have drawn over here, that's a trapezium. So in the beginning, only we will give it a shape of trapezium that's completely okay. Or if you want, you can draw it just a four-sided polygon, okay? Now, here the question says that the diagonal of the quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other at a point. This is a quadrilateral, okay? A quadrilateral ABCD I have drawn over here and the diagonal. See, whoever I've joined just now, I have not started anything so far. Okay, yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday I have given this question. I was trying to do it. Yes, uh, so I think everyone has joined now. See, so far I have not started. Yes. Yeah, what? You made a construction in it. Yeah, yeah, I'll be explaining. See, whoever I've joined just now, I have not started anything so far. Here, the, I have just written the question. Yesterday, we have already discussed one question like this. This is just the converse case of the same question. Okay, yeah, construction I was about, like I have started, I'll be explaining it. So, see the question first. The question is the diagonal of a quadrilateral ABCD. Just a second.
Okay. So the question is diagonal of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other at a point O. Figure is not given. What about the figure which I have drawn over here? I'll be explaining it. We need to draw it by ourselves. Okay. So diagonal of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other at a point O such that the condition is given that AO by BO, CO by DO. And we are supposed to prove that whatever quadrilateral we have drawn by ourselves, that is a trapezium. Okay, trapezium, what is the property of trapezium? So we, we must know the property of trapezium, then only we will be able to prove it. So at first, coming to the property, later on we'll be discussing about what exactly is the property of trapezium. Let's construct the figure at first, okay? So it says that the diagonal of a quadrilateral ABCD, a random, a random quadrilateral we need to draw and we need to name it ABCD. However, since we need to prove it that the, the quadrilateral which we have drawn over here, it's a trapezium. That's why I have given it a shape of trapezium. Okay. But that we need to prove over here. Now, ABCD, a quadrilateral means what? Quadrilateral means just a four-sided polygon. Okay. A shape having four sides. That's called quadrilateral. We have drawn that. Now, diagonal of this quadrilateral intersect, intersect each other at point O. So, we have joined the, we have shown the diagonal over here. And we will be saying that this is the point of intersection of diagonal. This is O. How we are doing so? It is written clearly in the question. Such that it is given, okay, given that it is given in the question that AO by BO is equals to CO by DO. Okay, here we can see clearly what is AO, what is BO, what is CO, what is DO. Okay, now we have to prove that ABCD is a trapezium. We have to prove that ABCD is a trapezium. Now we must know what is the property of trapezium. So trapezium is a trapezium is quadrilateral. Okay, it comes from the quadrilateral family. A four-sided polygon having one pair of parallel sides. That is, if we are having a trapezium PQRS, let's say, here one like opposite side, a pair will be parallel to each other. So either PQ will be parallel to SR or maybe, or maybe PS will be parallel to QR. Okay, both, both opposite sides will not be parallel, just like parallelogram. Here, only one pair of parallel opposite sides we are having. So, PQ is only parallel to SR. However, the other side, which we call as a leg of the trapezium, legs, these legs PS and QR are not parallel with each other. Okay? So, only this, if we, any way, any way we will be able to prove in our previous question that one of the parallel, one, one pair of sides are parallel over here. In this quadrilateral, we are having one pair of sides which are parallel with each other. Then we can make the conclusion. Hence, this quadrilateral is a trapezium anyway. Okay. So let's, let's try proving that A, B and C, D are parallel with each other. See, we just need to prove one, one pair of opposite side. Either we will be proving, focusing on A, B, and C, D are parallel, or, or maybe if we will prove that A, D, and B, C, D are parallel. Okay, however, the according to the figure which we have drawn, we must focus on proving A, B, and C, D are parallel with each other. Okay, let's prove A, B, and C, D as a parallel. Question is clear to everyone, right? Anyone having any confusion in the question? Anyone? Okay. So let's try proving A, B, and C, D are parallel. Let's, let's construct. Let's make the construction over here, just like the previous question. Maybe this construction will help us 
proving that AB and CD are parallel. So we are making a line by ourselves. We are making a line that is EF. And we will say that this EF is parallel to AB. Okay. Construction we are doing by ourselves. EF parallel to AB we are making. Okay. A random line EF that is parallel, keeping in mind that it must be parallel to AB. That's how we are drawing this red colored line EF. Now we don't know A, B and C, D are parallel or not. That's what we want to prove. Okay. We don't know A, B and C, D are parallel or not. That's what we want to prove over here. Just, just a construction we have done here. A line we have drawn and that is parallel to one of the line over here. That is A, B. Okay. Now. See the given ratio, it is given that AO by BO, CO by DO. If you will focus on AO by BO or maybe CO by DO, see, this is not like so arranged. If we will do a little bit of change over here, since we have already done the previous question, we understand that if the given form, if we will be writing like this, AO by CO is equals to BO by DO. Can we write it like this? The given information, can we write it like this? Yes or no? Can we write the given yes. information AO by BO as a CO by this, like uh, AO by BO and CO by DO are equal. We are just changing the side. The CO we are writing over here. Okay, and BO we are writing over there. Are we doing any change? No. Then why are we writing like this? Because we understand. We understand the like basic proportionality theorem. So far, we have learned the concept and we need a triangle. If you will focus AO, BO, like it's, it's not making sense. But if you will be writing it like this, AO by CO, see carefully, AO by CO. Okay. Similarly, if we will focus on the other part, BO by DO, see it, it makes sense. BO by DO. Okay, let's take a triangle where we can use this AO by CO and all. So let's take a triangle here. If we will take, if we will take this triangle, the green color triangle. Okay, we understand that EO. Okay, no, we cannot take this green color triangle because EO is not parallel to one of the side. Let me take the other triangle. This, this, this one is parallel to AB, keeping in mind, if we will take, let me highlight the triangle. Let's take this triangle, okay? Triangle ADB. Here we will say that EO is parallel to AB. How? Construction. Okay. We will be taking triangle ADB. Let me write it over here. We are going to take triangle ADB. Focus on triangle ADB, the pink color triangle. Here we will say that we already know, we know, we know that EO is parallel to AB. How EO is parallel to AB? Because we have drawn a line EF, which is parallel to AB. So part of EF, that is EO will also be parallel to AB. If two lines are parallel with each other, then if you will just make one line bigger, still both are parallel. Okay, if you will rub a part of a line, still both are parallel. Okay. So that's how we are saying since EF and AB are parallel, hence EO and AB will also be parallel. Am I making sense to all of you? Yes, Everyone? Yes, okay. E EO and AB will be parallel. And that's what we are writing in, in this pink color triangle. EO is parallel to AB. Okay. If EO is parallel to AB, if EO is parallel to AB, then by basic proportionality theorem, what can be written? By basic proportionality theorem, 
who will say what can be written in this pink triangle if side eo and ab are parallel with each other then what can be written by basic proportionality theorem do by ob is equal to de by ea exactly do by ob is equals to de by ea but here it is given that here it is given that this do by ob if you will just write the reciprocal for the given part or whatever we have written we can write the res reciprocal also okay we will be writing the reciprocal of this one so that we can use the given information okay if we will write the reciprocal it will be ob by do is equals to ea by de we are not changing anything we have just reversed the left hand side fraction and the right hand side fraction we have reversed it if if in the question x by y is given as 2 by 3 then we can say y by x is 3 by 2 we can say we are not changing anything okay and hence we did the we have taken the reciprocal over here why we took the reciprocal because here bo by do is what ao by co yes or no yes yes okay it is given already it is given that bo by do is bo by do is ab uh, sorry ao by co okay this one is given that this is same as ao by co how we are writing from the given part write it clearly that given is ao by co is equals to bo by do it is given already okay that is equals to ea by de now focus on ao by co focus on ao by co and ea by de ea de okay and ao co can you see it is nothing but the sides of one of the triangle are in same proportion see which triangle who will name it can you see whatever we have got it is nothing but this triangle side ae by de is equals to ao by co can you see it yes ma'am ae by de by is equals to ao by co can you see it? the green color triangle sides are in equal ratio hence by converse of basic proportionality theorem hence by converse of basic proportionality theorem what can we see over here eo is who will say in this green color triangle can you see if if you want me to draw the shape over here let me draw it can you see the triangle ao by co i am highlighting okay whatever ao and co i will make it bold so that you will be able to visualize is equals to ea okay this is e this is f is equals to ea by de are you able to focus on the triangle yes Okay, if this is the case, Ma'am. which we yes. How do we get A O by C O equals E and D A? Can I explain it again? Yeah. Ah, uh, see, Maha, what we have done over here, since the we are scrolling up and down, that is creating the confusion. What we did over here, at first it was given, it was given that A O by B O is equals to C O by D O. It was given to us. Yes or no? Ah. Uh, is it to you yeah it is given to us then we did a little bit of customization in this format and what we are saying ao by co is equals to bo by do that also we can write okay the given part can be written like this now we are taking we we have done a construction we did the construction where we have plotted ef is parallel to ab 
okay this is how we have done the construction now since ef and ab are parallel we we are taking purposefully a triangle where we can use this parallel concept okay so we are purposefully we are taking this triangle okay and we are saying that eo eo is parallel to ab hence by basic proportionality theorem the sides will be in equal ratio so we can say that ae by de is equals to bo by de okay and here we will be using the given part bo by do means what ao by co yes or no bo by do at the place of bo by do can we use ao by co yes or no can we use yes, from, from given part from given part okay we will be using it a by d now focus this is nothing but just the converse of basic proportionality theorem a e by d e is equals to a o by c o are you able to focus on this triangle are you able to see this triangle yes or no yes ma'am yes and if you can see this triangle then uh, can we conclude over here that since the sides of this triangle are in equal ratio hence hence eo will be parallel to cd yes or no yes by converse of basic proportionality theorem can we say that yes yes everyone getting it yes, harshit maha and since we we are done see eo and cd are parallel eo was parallel to ab also so all together are parallel with each other yes or no and if ab and cd are parallel it is nothing but just a this quadrilateral is a trapezium right am i yes, making sense a, a eo yes. and cd are parallel hence eo cd ab all are just parallel with each other see eo is parallel to ab eo is parallel to cd so all are just parallel with each other ab cd are parallel with each other ab cd are parallel with each other hence this quadrilateral is a trapezium right everyone getting it galvin aisha ziana yes yes ma'am noa getting it Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is how we'll be doing it. Okay, the given part is okay, but we will be writing it so that we can use the given part. So A O by B O, C O by D O, we can write it A O by C O, B O by D O. Why we are doing so? So that we can use this information further. Okay, always, always here the data is given in such a way no, that. if you are having this quad this quadrilateral this quadrilateral if directly since previous question we have discussed it is making more sense over here here the ratio is given like this this one by this one is equals to this one by this one it is given like this so we are trying to arrange so that we can use maybe basic proportionality theorem or maybe the converse of that and that's why we have arranged it we are saying the given part can be written like this then a construction we have done which is very important this construction is guiding us to prove okay construction we have done then according to our construction we are taking the triangle okay according to our construction only we are taking such a triangle where we can use the parallel line concept and the basic proportionality theorem hence we are writing the sides are in equal ratio and hence we are using the given condition over there and we ended up getting what we want to prove anyone having any confusion over here no ma'am okay so you will be able to do it by yourself right yes ma'am okay i'm leaving it now the next question or the last question which i want to discuss from you 
see from basic proportionality theorem questions will be like this only it will not be that difficult you just need to identify the triangle or maybe you need to draw parallel line like the previous question and like, like this one okay so the next question is if d and e are points on side ab and ac respectively of a triangle abc such that d is parallel to bc and bd is equals to c prove that triangle abc is isosceles Okay, let's do it. Here also the figure is not given. Okay, we have to draw the figure by ourselves. So D and E are point on the side AB and AC of triangle ABC. There is, there is a triangle ABC. Okay, A, B, C. Maybe like this. D and E are point on AB. A point is there D and a point is there E. Okay. And AC of triangle ABC such that DE D, e is parallel to BC. It is given over here. It is given that DE is parallel to BC. Keep on thinking about this one. Okay. I'll be leaving this question for you. At least of two minutes, I'll give to you to try then we'll be discussing it and it is also given over here that bd is equals to c okay oh, one more information is given that bd is equals to c now you have to prove that this triangle abc is an isosceles triangle okay isosceles triangle means such a triangle where two sides are of exactly same length that's called isosceles triangle okay please try proving it Take two minutes and try it. Ma'am, since it's given that DE is parallel to BC, doesn't that mean that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC? Mm. By basic proportionality theorem, we can write it. Yes. Yes. It means AD by BD is equal to AE by C. Okay, by basic proportionality theorem. Then... We know how to make AB or AC in this side. If suppose like this type of proof we have done, okay, that prove that AC by BD is equals to AE or sorry, A, I mean AB over here and AC over here. 
Yeah, this type of proof we have done. Yes or no? From basic yes, proportionality theorem, we can write this also how? By try making this one. If you will be able to make this one, if you can recall, then we will be done. Denominators are same. We can say numerator will also be same. We add one to it and then do it. Exactly. By adding one. Okay. By adding one on both sides, we will be able to make A, B and A, C in the numerator spot. Let's make it by adding one on both sides. We will be able to write A D by B D plus one is equals to A E by C E plus one. Now we'll be having A D plus B D by B D is equals to A E plus C E by C E. A D plus B D is what? A D plus B D is what? Hmm? A B plus A B. And the other one is A C. A C. A B by B D is equals to A C by C E. Is it given that the denominator is already same BD and C? Yeah, it is given. It is given that this denominator part is already same. Hence, we can say numerator will also be same. Okay, we will say that AB will be equals to AC. Hence, the given triangle is isosceles triangle. Okay. Since the denominator is same, hence the numerator will also be same. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. So this is our will be given. Okay, now let's start with the concept of similar triangle. Anyone having any doubt over here? Any doubt? Okay, let's continue with the concept of similar triangles. Similar shapes we already understand. Similar doesn't mean exactly same size. Okay, shape has to be same. Circle with circle, triangle with triangle, square with square. But size, the measurement, it is not necessary that the measurement is exactly same. However, However, the sides must be in proportion with each other. Okay? It, it will, it, sides are in proportion or we say it is in same ratio. Ratio between all the corresponding side will be same. So, when we are talking about, in previous class, you have learned about the congruency concept and there you have learned that when we are, when we were talking about the concept of congruency, if we are having, if we are having a triangle ABC and a triangle PQR, and if we will say that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle PQR, then we must be very particular that angle A and angle P both has to be same. Okay, both are corresponding angle. Okay, and it will be same, angle A and angle P. I am writing the name of the angle like this. However, we must be specific with the name of the angle also. Here we will be, we will not be using the angle like this. We will be writing the angle. If we want to write angle A, the proper name will be writing like BAC or maybe CAB. Okay, this is how we'll be representing the angles every time, every time. But since I'm just explaining the concept over here, I'm writing the angle like this only. 
so we understand that when two triangles are congruent that means it is exactly exactly same in shape and size okay just a second now and we also understand that the sequence also matters a b c p q r here angle a and angle p are corresponding angle angle b and angle q are corresponding angle angle c and angle r are corresponding angle similarly side ab and side pq are corresponding side and it it must be of same measurement similarly side bc and side qr are corresponding side of congruent triangle and similarly ac and pr this two are also corresponding side of congruent triangle and we must write the name in that manner when the name is given in the question part it will be given very properly well arranged and if we are writing the name name means what name of the triangle okay we cannot write this pqr if this is the corresponding sides and corresponding angle sequence then we cannot give it the name angle qpr or oh, i mean triangle qpr or maybe triangle rpq we cannot call it random name we cannot give however if anyway throughout the mathematics you have learned that if we are having a triangle and the name is mno we can call it triangle mno we can call it triangle onm we can call it triangle nom whatever we will call that's completely okay but not in the case of congruency and similarly for similar figure okay when we are having similarity concept then also we will be specific with the name of the triangle okay so now let's let's take two triangle which are similar with each other suppose we are having one of the triangle okay and we are having another triangle let's say this is triangle rst and this is triangle let's say pqr yes pqr okay that's why we always say that b is specific with the name of the angle can you see r is here r is here so we cannot say r and r and s and t this is how that's why we don't write the name of the angles okay so if these two triangles are similar with each other now the the congruency sign we understand this is the sign of congruency this means is congruent and every time we will not be writing in a statement form that's why we use the sign similarly for similar shapes we are having this sign okay this means is similar okay now if i want to write this triangle and that triangle are similar with each other i have to be specific now here we will not say for similar for congruent triangle we understand that all the side must be of like one of the side over here one of the side over there same length another side over here another side over there same length Ne the remaining side over here, remaining side over there, same length. Each and every angle also has to be same. Then only we will be calling it congruent triangle. However, for proving the congruency, we were having few criteria for congruency. The criteria over there was who will say what was the criteria for congruency? There were five rules, right? A S S S. side angle 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 side and 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 rhs angle angle exactly rhs rhs means right hypotenuse side yeah 
right angle, hypotenuse, and side. These were the five rules, which five criteria which we were using to prove any two triangle congruent. Okay. However, the meaning of congruency was this. Now the meaning of similarity means two same, same exactly same figure we are having, where sides are in like uh, corresponding sides are in same ratio. Okay, that is the meaning of similarity. That it is the figure is a stretch or maybe uh, we have just made it a smaller, but in a proper proportion we have done that. Okay, and yeah, same figure it has to be. So if we are saying that this triangle and that triangle are similar, okay, if I am saying RST is similar to triangle P, Q, R, okay, then what does that mean? You need to understand that. It means that angle R over here is equals to angle P over here. It means that angle S over here is must be equals to angle Q over here, the middle one. Okay, and it means that angle T over here is equals to angle R over there. That's why we say that don't write the name like this and write the name properly. That angle R from here, that means R will be in the middle, S and T here and there. Okay, is equals to angle P from there. So P will be sitting in the middle and Q and R we will be writing one on the left, another on the right. This is how we will so name. Only if all Ma yeah. So if only all the angles are equal, then only we'll say that it's similar. No, I'm coming to the other part also. We'll be saying, we'll be saying, let's make the list properly. Angle S over here, the middle one, is equals to angle Q over there. Name of that we can write like this: RST is equals to angle PQR. And angle T over here is equals to angle R over here. And name, proper name of that, even without looking at the figure, we can write it. We can write the name. That is T will be in the middle and R and S, one, this R and S, one on the left, another on the right. That angle R we want to represent, that R will be in the middle and P and Q, one on the left, another on the right. This is how we can write the name with, even without looking at the figure. Okay. These are the corresponding angles which will be equal with each other when two triangles are similar and sides must be in proportion. That means, what does that mean? That means RS side by PQ side RS side by PQ side is equals to is equals to ST side by QR side is equals to RT side by PR side. This is the criteria for two triangle to be similar. Okay, this all the condition has to be fulfilled. Then only we are saying that two triangles are similar with each other. But, but, but every time this much information will not be given to us. Okay, that's why here also we are having few criteria, few rules, which will help us showing that two triangles are similar. However, this is the meaning of similarity. When anywhere, anywhere it says that this triangle, that triangle are similar with each other. So that much information, we can take it out by ourselves. Okay. Everyone getting it? What is the meaning of similar, similar yes. triangles? Yes, ma'am. Right side but when, proportion. Yeah. Ma'am, when proving it, uh, do you have to prove that the angles are equal or only the ratio? Uh, there are few criteria. Okay. The way we were having, apart from understanding that congruent means everything same. Congruent means everything same, side same, angle same. That's called congruence. But but while solving the question, we were using this five rules. Okay, maybe any one one of the rules from here, and then we were saying, hence these two triangles are congruent, right? Here also we are having few criteria in hand. Okay, few cri criteria we are having. Well, the first criteria is 
angle angle criteria just a second just a second let me see the screen Just a moment. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the first criteria is angle, angle, angle criteria. Okay. Angle, angle, angle. If you are having two triangles, let's say you are having a triangle. Let's name it abc and the other triangle we are having let's name it pqr okay and if one of the angle over here is equals to one of the angle over here another angle over here is equals to another angle over there and the third angle over here is equals to third angle over there then we can say that these two triangles are similar with each other why we will not check for the sides in proportion or not? Because the concept is geometrically, if you will try drawing two triangles, suppose you are drawing one of the triangle over here. Let's take, you have taken one of the side uh, BC. You have whatever measurement you have taken. Or maybe you have not taken any measurement, just randomly a line you are drawing with the help of a scale. Here you have constructed 60 degree. And here you have constructed 45 degree, okay? And you are trying to make a triangle like this. You did the construction. Now, one more triangle you are trying to make, a random bigger line you have drawn. Here you are constructing 60 degree. Here you are constructing 45 degree. Obviously, the remaining angle automatically will come out as the same because angle, some property says that in a triangle, sum of all the interior angle has to be 180 degree. If it is like more than 180, less than 180, then it will not take a shape of triangle. You won't be able to draw a triangle if you will take randomly any angle where the sum is not 180 degree. Making triangle will not be possible. Okay. So if randomly you plotted two triangles like this, where you just maintain the angle same, then automatically now you will start measuring the side and, and automatically you will find that the sides are in equal ratio. It will come out automatically that sides will be in equal ratio. If you want to check, go ahead and check it. Okay. You will find that side will come out as an equal ratio. That's why there is a rule. That in the question, obviously, every data, each and everything will not be given. All the side, all the angle, everything will not be given. So with the limited information, with this much of information also, if we will see that there is a like one of the angle over here is equal to one of the angle over there. Another angle over here is equal to another angle over there. And the remaining angle over here is equal to remaining angle over there. Then we can say that these two triangles are similar triangles we will not worry about the site in proportion. Getting it, this is one of the criteria of similarity. So we can say that triangle ABC, we will be particular with the name of the other triangle, that means triangle P, who will name it? What is the name of the other triangle? Triangle PQR. Mm -hmm. No. PQR, if you will name PR. it PQR. Then you are saying, if you will name it PQR, then you are saying that B and Q are same. Is it so? P or Q. P or Q. Yes, it will be. We have to be specific with the name and the name is P or Q. 
okay this is how we will be writing the similarity after this suppose one more part is there to prove this that and everything after writing this we can directly use the information since this similar condition is there then we know that ab by pr we know that bc by rq we know that ac by eq it will be in same ratio we know that we from like from this information we are allowed to write this information previously we were using the word cpct corresponding part of congruent triangle here we will write corresponding part of similar triangle getting it yes ma'am okay and this is the one of the criteria for similarity now from here only the other criteria came which says that if two angles are same no then also we can say that the two triangles are similar with each other why because if two angles are same obviously the third will be same yes or no yes everyone getting it if two angles are same then definitely the third angle will be same if two angles suppose what you are having one triangle suppose you are having another triangle here you are having 50 degree here you are having 40 degree here also you are having 50 degree here also you are having 40 degree so if two like like one of the angle over here same as another one of the angle over here is same as one of the angle over there then automatically the third will also be same because angle sum property of a triangle says that that sum of all the interior angle has to be 180 so 50 plus 40 90 here this is the 90 degree remaining angle okay here also angle sum property says that see we are not comparing it for now angle sum property says that the remaining angle will must be like sum of all all must be 180 degree okay so here also remaining will be 90 everyone getting it yes ma'am so with the bare minimum information we are proving that two triangles are similar if three angles are exactly same 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 we can say both triangles are similar even if only two angle we, we can see in the both the triangle then also we can say by angle angle similarity rule we know that this two triangles are similar with each other okay and, and while writing the name we have to be particular with the